In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a voiced NPC as well as how to generate lip files in the creation kit. So, first of all, we need to save the plugin. So, we're going to just name it test, save, and we need to load the plugin. So, make sure fallout4.esm is checked as well as test.esp and press OK. Alright, there are five things we need to do to create our voiced NPC. First, we need to create an NPC, then we need to create a voice type. After that, we have to create a quest, a dialogue quest, then we need to record the audio, and then we have to generate lip files from that audio. So first, we do the NPC. So go to Actors, Actor, and this is our NPCs. Right click any of the NPCs and select New. All right, now we need to give our NPC an ID. I'm going to name it 000 Test Actor. We need to name our NPC. We're just going to name it NPC and short name we'll just name it NPC as well we need to make sure unique is checked and then we can press OK alright now that we have created our actor we can create the voice type so go over to character and then voice type right click one of them and select new. We're going to give it the ID of 000 test voice type. Press OK. And now that we've created our voice type we have to go back to our NPC and right here where it says voice type we have to select our voice type that we just created. So test voice type and then we can press OK. Alright, now that we have done that, we can make the dialogue quest. So, under character, we select quest, right click any of the quests, and select new. And we have to give our quest an ID, so I'm going to name it 000 test quest, and give it a priority of 20. And then you can go ahead and press OK. And then we need to go back into the quest. Alright, so now that we're back in the quest, you can see at the top here there are many different tabs. We want to go into the Quest Aliases tab. Right click, New Reference Alias, and we have to name this. So we're going to name it 000 Test alias. And right here where it says unique actor, we need to select that and select 000 test actor and press and press okay. All right, after that we go over to the scenes tab. Right click in here. Select new and we have to name our scene. So let's do 000 test scene and press OK. Alright, make sure you've highlighted scene so it's blue and select player dialogue and this will pop up here. In the blanks, in the white space over here, just right click and select new actor and right here select 000 test alias and press OK. And this will pop up, double click test greeting and we will name it 000 test greeting and press OK. Alright, so this is the greeting dialog. This is what the NPC will say when we go and talk to him. So for the response text we will just have it say hello and we can press OK. Alright, 
now that we have now that we'll bring up the topic info box or the page and we need to configure a couple things first of all right here where it says speaker we need to select test actor then where it says requires player activation we want to tick the box and right here where it says conditions we want to right click new and right here where it says invalid click that and object ID we want to open the drop down menu and select test actor press OK press OK and that is it we need to press OK and OK so that is our greeting now we need to create some dialogues so right click in the white space select add phase at end and in the white space in the phase just right click and select new action player dialog all right just go ahead and press ok and here we are the player dialog menu so this allows us to create some dialog right here where it says empty we're going to double click that and we're going to double click empty right here below response text and right here where it says prompt we are going to type what is your name so the player is asking the NPC what their name is and we're just going to copy that down here to response text that's what your the players will say so press OK and OK and over here to the right of it the NPC dialog double click empty and double click empty below response text and for the response we will say my name is NPC and we don't need a prompt press OK and OK and that is our basic dialog we have a question and an answer alright now we can go ahead and press OK alright now we need to rename phase one so just double click phase one right here and we're going to name it 000 test phase one and press OK alright now we want to right click in the white space and select uh, we need to select add phase at end right click in the white space go to new action start scene alright and down here we're going to right click select new and we're going to go to the scene and select 00 test scene and currently there's nothing available for this right now but there will be in a moment so once you've done that press OK OK press apply and OK and that will close that box but we need to open it back up so go back to 000 test quest open it up and go back into action right here and double click on test scene and here we are 000 test phase 1 is now there so press OK press OK we can just apply that and we can go into greeting so we want to go back into greeting double click this and see where it says forced alias we want to select 000 test alias then we can press OK and we want to press apply and OK okay now we're going to go test this in game and see if the dialogue works alright we are now in game and we're going to go check out if the dialogue worked so here's the NPC I'm gonna talk to him hey he says hello that's the meeting the greeting dialogue now we're gonna ask what is your name 
and NPC says my name is NPC so that worked successfully alright so now that we made sure the dialogue worked we need to add some voice so back in the creation kit we go to quest and select our quest and scenes we need to add some voice so we need to voice the dialogue so let's double click on the greeting uh, now we need to select hello in response text and we need to highlight this voice type we need to highlight the voice type and in order to record some voice we need to press record and I'm going to record hello so hello and now we can play it back just to make sure it worked hello alright it worked so we can press save and OK. And OK. Next we need to record the the answer to the question. So when the player asks what is your name, the NPC will say my name is NPC. So we double click on my name is NPC. We select my name is NPC under the response text. We highlight the voice type and press record my name is NPC alright now we can play it back my name is NPC alright it worked now we can press save ok ok apply and ok alright now we need to go generate the lip files so in order to create lip files we need to move a couple things around so here we are in the Fallout 4 game folder, or sometimes called the Fallout 4 root folder. In here we can find fallout4.exe and creationkit.exe. So in order to generate lip files, we need to go into this tools folder, lipgen, and here we have the creationkit 32-bit. So we need to copy the 32-bit creation kit into the Fallout 4 root directory. So we need to copy the exe, this DLL, and this DLL. Right click, copy. We're going to go back to the Fallout 4 root folder and paste and this will allow us to generate lip files so we double click the creation kit 32-bit and we select the folder and then we want to select test.esp there's no need to run the fallout4.esm so don't check it we can set this as an active file although it doesn't uh, make much of a difference you can set it not as an active file but either way press OK and alright the 32-bit creation kit has started up and now we can generate lip files so go to quest and open our quest and we are in scene and we have we need to generate lip files for the greeting and the response so double click on the greeting below response text hello and to generate the lip file we need to select we need to highlight the voice type then we need to select from WAV and we need to press generate lip file and that will generate the lip file we can press OK and OK we also need to generate a lip file for the my name is NPC so double click that and double click my name is NPC highlight the voice type select WAV and generate lip file alright we can press OK 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 and you do not need to save this plugin because 
All we are using the 32-bit creation kit for is to generate those lip files. We do not need it for anything else. So you can go ahead and exit. And after that, we will go test it out in game and see if it worked. All right, so we are in game and let's go see if it worked. Is our NPC? Hey there. Hello. My name is NPC. All right, so it looks like it worked. The audio worked and the lips synced with the audio. So I would say that's a success. And that's how you create an NPC with voice dialogue and lip files. If you would like to do more advanced dialogue, you can go over to Sedin 4494 and he has some in-depth dialogue videos that should help you out. He currently has a longer conversation tutorial as well as a branching dialogue tutorial. And he should have more in the future.